This episode is sponsored by the National Institute of Mental Health. Go to their website, www.nimh.nh.gov, to learn more about mental health issues and how to deal with them. What's up, everybody? We're IED, and welcome to the Laughing Gas Podcast. This episode will be about the importance of sleep. Nothing here is intended or should serve as a substitute for medical advice or diagnosis referred to by your individual doctor or other healthcare providers. IED is not liable for your a- any actions you may take based on any advice the provider of which claims to have relayed on medical information containing here. Further, IED is not liable for your reliance of any information published in the medium by any other institution or organization identified in any manner on this podcast. So, how do you think how do you think y'all have been able to do sleeping wise lately, huh? Well, generally, I think my sleeping schedule is pretty good, but I would say a lot of the time I end up procrastinating on schoolwork and that digs into my sleep schedule a lot, a lot. And then I lose sleep and then as a result, I end up super tired the next day at school. Um, I think a simple fix with it for this is just stop procrastinating and actually do my work. But yeah. So how about you, Ian? Well, I wouldn't say my sleep schedule has been doing pretty good recently. Uh, I've been sleeping pretty late, mainly because when I say I'm going to go to bed, I actually start using my phone and start scrolling through any social media I may have. And that pretty much just delays like whenever I'm going to sleep. Since actually it's shown that um, being on your phone before you sleep can actually uh, hinder how well you sleep. And it will also it can also cause insomnia and stuff like that. So that's kind of been what's happening with me yeah sleep is extremely important for us no matter who we are or what we do sleep can really improve mental health and make us feel better during the day i actually heard that sleep can also help you focus and be less irritable and in general a bit in a better mood yeah i really think that people a lot of time underestimate how important it is to sleep and get well rested yeah, and it's said that most teenagers need to be anywhere between 8 to 10 hours of sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening at school. Nah. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, no. It often gets hard to get 8 hours of sleep per day, especially when you have so many assignments at school. Yes, it is often really hard to try to balance things like school and real world, but it's very important that you learn that what works for you. This can be things like having a planner or doing all your work right after school so that you can relax once you finish everything. Yeah, every person is different and every person finds their own way to balance what they do so that they are able to live life happily and energized. Mm -hmm, Not kidding. What do you guys do to try and maximize the amount of time you sleep? Well, for me, I always try to catch up on my work, uh, maybe the day before, and try to do my work the day before it is due so that I'm not stressing that it's like, oh, I have this assignment due today. Um, I also always check my schedule to see uh, what assignments I have so that I can kind of plan out like, oh, maybe so I can try to plan out if I have, um, if, you know, if I can uh, hang out with friends or if I have to, you know, work on homework longer. So I always try to just plan everything out so that it, nothing like really um, creeps up on me and I don't get overwhelmed. What do you do, Ethan, to try to get as much sleep as possible? See, you're implying that I get sleep. You gotta remember, we're IB students, okay? We don't really get that very often. But in all seriousness, when I actually do get sleep, uh, it's it's mostly when I am able to do the work in the school, I feel like. Because once I get home, there's too many distractions, and I just don't end up doing the work, I feel like. But, yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel you on that one. Now, remember again, this episode is sponsored by the National Institute of Mental Health. Go to their website, www.niamh.nih.gov, to learn more about mental health issues and how to deal with them. Now, we know it's hard to keep a good schedule consistently. Trust me, we're all humans, and we ourselves are not perfect. I know, hard to believe, right? No, (laughs) but for real. There are many ways that you can improve your schedule if you're struggling. The first tip that I would personally advise is that I would try to go to sleep at the same time every day. 
this is very important if you want to get a good sleep schedule going, since sleeping at random times is actually really bad for you and can be harmful for your health. A good time to sleep is somewhere around 10 p.m. That way your body can rejuvenate and be ready for the next day. Yeah, having a good sleep schedule is really one of the most important steps in taking care of yourself and your mental health. And that's all we have on sleep for today's episode of the Laughing Gas Podcast, brought to you by IEP. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you got a laugh out of it and maybe even learned something new. Remember to go check out www.nimh.nih.gov for more info on mental health. We'll see you next time on Laughing Gas Podcast.